Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Lockdown Euros where we'll have Slovakia against Republic of Ireland. Here's the team here featuring even 21st century recording artist Jace Moraz up top. But yeah, again, nothing to scream and shout about. Screen the arse, probably the best player here. But even he doesn't live up to what I'd like him to in these games. And nothing better to play the first game than good old mate Timo Werner. Destroys me every time I play him. It's basically a death wish if I see him. Will we get first chance of the game, see what Callum Robinson's up to. Yeah. It's not what I want from my striker. I give away a silly foul into the box here. I wasn't too sure whether it was a foul or not, but Ozil's executed that. <laughs> we just borderline perfectly. Barring in, nothing we can do about it. I feel like I've dealt with the danger there. Still gets the cut back away. I think I get the tackle in there as well. Can't get near the spare ball apparently. And yeah, that play took some two to be good. Thunderbolt now from Essien. He's just starting to slip away. <laughs> 3-0 at half time, the game's already dead and buried and to be honest not much we could do about it. Free kicks, long shots, player switching errors, it's just chaos really. Now Ozil comes down in this space, you see I've got control of screen yard here but even can't get anywhere near the pace of Mesut Ozil as he finishes under no contest and makes it fall. Now Bradford comes out and deals with it the best way he knows he can. Just kicks him straight up in the air. Fair play, got the job done. A rare chance for us to come forward here. Jason Moraz exchanging it. Smacks off the post for Alan Brown there to pick out the pieces. Get our first points of the episode. They did credit Moraz with an assist for that, so I will too. Another literally from kickoff to make things even better. Screen yard centre back partner John Egan decides to show his skills. By just getting out of the way, cheers for that mate. <laughs> Makes it 5-1. And just, if I mean, if you think that we're done there, we're not. He can, well Scunyard gets done there and then Egan has another go. Our little friend Timo Werner just gets spun, finished. 6-1, <laughs> made a great account for ourselves, great way to open it up. Already looking like I'm done with this team already. If the final whistle goes and kick off. And we lose 6-1, so. Great start. I mean, there was a goal in there at least. And we'll see who our highest rated player goes to. And it was James McCarthy. So it gives an island, an island. Gives Ireland another point. Puts them to a 2 to a 0 0.5 lead. Going into the second game here. Again, you're just going to see colourful teams every game pretty much. This guy's gone a bit foot birthday mental, don't mind a little French player of the month fever. As he comes forward early on, Gareth Bale here, twisting and turning down the right, gets it to Ben Yedder. He doesn't miss those, I don't do much wrong, but you don't have to give half a yard to some of these players and you get done for it. Especially with the type of squads I'm rolling out with. He comes forward again here, not long after, slips it through the Bale. And again, just first time finish. I've not given him buckets of space, but it's Gareth Bale at the end of the day. We get a chance to come forward ourselves. But Moraz moves on to Robinson. See Brown out on the left. Nice little chip ball in his bath. Heads on to himself. Solid little strike. Give North, uh, Republic of Ireland, almost said Northern Ireland, they'd hate me for that. It gives Republic of Ireland even further lead. As they both score and set that one up. Up to three and a half now. Looking like they could run away with it, but. There's a long way to go yet, well, just before the halfway mark points wise. So we see the half time stats here. Generally, if anything, in my favour, but I can't do much against these teams. We get a bit of space now again. Miraz chips through Robinson. And maybe the chip objective was playing on my head. I've seen him backpedal already. I've still chipped it, but regardless, a sorry attempt from Callum Robinson. Straight in the keeper's hands, we get nothing from it. This guy somehow gets through there, but a rare good save from Dubravka this time. As we now get down the left, Stevens hits the byline, pulls it back to Robinson, gets his shot scuffed, but through Moraz anyway, he sticks it home. For some reason they decide to give the assist as well to Slovakia, I forgot what player it was, but I'm not going to argue with them, I'll just stick it on the scoreline and move on. As he does nick a late winner here, you'll see a lot of these 90th minute winners. Whether it's a lapse in concentration or I just don't care, all these teams are cheesing me out of points. 
I don't know, but it just seems more often than not we will be on the losing end, especially for these playoff rounds where the teams aren't so good. And so back to put another point back here with Mraz getting player of the match there. So the scores suddenly, when they look to mile away, become a lot more even for Slovakia and they stand a chance in this. Third game here, the most winnable team we've played so far. It's pretty normal. Well, if I say normal, there's, as you can see, nine normal cards in it and that blue Cooley Valley basically is a normal card as it is. So, And we get first chance of the game. Mraz slips a bit of Hamzik, who gets brought down. And again, another weird one, as on this penalty, when it's eventually taken, after the ref's done shouting at Cooley Valley. Yeah, there's a thing with penalties, whichever nation wins it takes it. Usually I'll stick to the player who won it as well. If Amdrick takes it here, sticks it in the bottom left, puts us 1-0 up. They like to give the assist to the person who played the ball before the foul. So again, I'm not going to argue, just chuck it on a scoreline. For the first time, Slovakia leading this tie against the Republic of Ireland. Looking like both Irish teams are going to go out the first time of asking. Look at the half-time stats here. You know, I've kept the guy to no shots. Probably can't argue that I should have scored any more than one, but should he be at nil with no shots? Yes, of course he should. We get a bit of space here with Robinson. Go for the finish. He cracks the post. <laughs> Not going to fall for Callum by the looks of things. Hamjik shifts it in the middle of Mraz. Back to Hamjik. Through to Mraz again. Another post. <laughs> we are getting a bit unlucky here. And the full-time whistle goes. So maybe a chance to make more leeway than we did. Probably could have earned more points there for either team. But yet we don't, as we look to the match ratings here, and Hamzik gets man of the match. So again, Slovakia, have, I think, if anything, gained almost like five unanswered points. They put themselves into a nice solid lead against Republic of Ireland. It's looked like it's going to be theirs to win now. Let's move on to the fourth game. More of the busier teams we're used to with special cards coming out their ears. SBCs and pack players and this, that and the other. But we get the first chance regardless of that. Brown brings it forward into the path of Robinson. Trying to look for a bit of space. Not a bad shot, but again, save. Again, it's just not going to happen for Callum Robinson by the looks of things. Almost went with Ronan Curtis. Left forward up front, just give it a bit of Pompey in there. But I think with these Irish objectives, the prices are a bit screwed. Lovely strike there. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be proud of that one. Mraz gets into the box this time. His standing foot's taken away from him. He's swinging a miss and the ref gives a pen. And it will be Mraz who steps up to take it. Again, I think we're looking to aim to the bottom left. That seems to be the place to go at the moment. Not sure Van is moving every way he possibly can. But he decides to dive right in the end. Does give Slovakia another assist in the pass to the foul for the pen. And there he is, Jason. <laughs> Fantastic editing, I'm sure you'll all be pleased to see. And puts him a goal away from victory. And if not a goal, then potentially a player of the match. Crespo smacks it in there against us. I've had enough of playing him in recent weeks. If he gets in the box, you're basically looking at a goal. As he pulls one back for the equaliser. But just before half time, Robinson slips through Mraz. He's got the chance to end it here. Somehow still gets through. Manuels is Coley out the way. And that's it. 8 4 to Slovakia. And they send the second Irish team out there. That's a big. <laughs> do anything to do with Jason Mraz there that time. Quality memory on me. But yeah, we go into half time here. Very brief look at the stats. They are in our favour. So rightfully probably 2-1 up. But the start of second half here, he comes forward with Cyprian. Gets into the path of Kent. I don't like anyone who uses Kent. I see him as a sheep. I get the pace and the skills and whatever. But nobody decided to do Ryan Kent off their own back. They No one saw it and thought, oh, it'll be a great sub. Everyone's done it because they've been told to by... YouTubers or friends have probably learned of YouTubers. I do something brilliant there. I'd like to say and hold my hands up and take the blame, but I did have a TV power off message come up, so I couldn't see a thing. Just press the button and get the ball out of the way whilst I've turned it off. And before I knew it, yes, the yes scored, and I'm 3 2 down, and it does lead to a loss. Which is a lovely way to end it, but as we saw, Slovakia 8 4 in the end. We do get player in the match with Moraz, but the scores are already settled. Confirmation of it there, 8-4. Top scorer there, Jason Mraz. <laughs> Make myself laugh, keep calling him that. Brown also gets two, and the sisters are both Mraz and Robinson both with two. So we look at the playoffs with the first set of brackets done there on the left-hand side. It will be 
Iceland against Bulgaria in the finals there, and Bosnia against Slovakia. And next up, you'll see Scotland versus Israel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.